Well, since 2010, it seems like we're ending each season with final thoughts that aren't celebratory, that aren't drenched in champagne. So we'll take it one at a time here, Paul. What are your thoughts on this season and the way it ended up? Well, you look at the season and the way it went about, uh, you know, it's something we've never seen before. 60 games, uh, playoff with no, you know, days off. We're looking into cameras. I'm sitting in a basement. I tell you, when this is all said and done, I might just tape this room off and never step foot in it again. But I did enjoy the baseball to get away what's going on with the world. I enjoyed working with you guys, and it's just fun to see baseball again. Um, but again, to, to walk away uh, unfulfilled because the Yankees aren't in the World Series, I can still feel that. And, Buck, obviously uh, you're looking at it through a different prism than we are. You're evaluating things in your head like a manager would. What are your final thoughts on this season and, and this series? You know, my first thought, uh, Mike, is that I'm proud of baseball. I am. There were a lot of doubters. I'd be in one of them, okay, that they could get this far and stay and, and give our country something to watch and bring us back to some semblance of normalcy in a really tough time. I'm like Paul, you know, I'm upstairs here. I'm hoping the grandkid and the dogs don't start barking, and I love it. Okay, it was baseball. I got a chance to be a part of it, got a chance to, to think along with guys, knowing full well that there's things I don't know about. You know, I, I give options. I don't give what somebody should do because we just don't know. But, you know, I'm, I'm just proud of baseball. You know, and I'm proud of the Yankees because they had, it's like Aaron said, there were a lot of things behind the scenes that uh, had to go on. And the discipline required to stay on the field and on this game, I salute them. Well, obviously, this is not the way the Yankees wanted this season to end, gentlemen. Um, it is, it's one of the worst years that we will ever endure, and I don't mean in baseball. I just mean in life. There are over 200,000 people in this country alone that have died because of coronavirus, and the fact that baseball was able to get on the field and give you a 60-game season is something that will be remembered forever because I think it was a respite for a lot of people, especially in the correspondences I get on Twitter. People are just happy that they had this game. But Yankee fans, obviously... They're used to championships. They want a little bit more. And this season was full of peaks and valleys. They started off 16-6, and six, and you pretty much penciled in the Yankees and the Dodgers to win the World Series. And then all of a sudden, it spun out of control, and you just didn't know why. 5-15. and 15. And this team had a chance. They were being chased by teams like the Mariners and the Orioles, who shouldn't be in the same league at this point where they are in their rebuilding effort. And they were chasing down the Yankees for that final playoff spot. And then they right at the ship. They won 10 in a row. And all was right with the world. And when they are good, they are as good as anybody. In fact, they're better than anybody. And then they finished the season at 2-6. and six. So you wonder, what's the team that's going into the postseason? Well, they beat up on the Indians. They beat up on Shane Bieber. They handled Carlos Carrasco. They handled that Indian bullpen that was so highly vaunted. And all of a sudden, you started to believe again. This team could go all the way. It's clicking on all cylinders. And that belief extended into the first game of the ALDS when they beat um, a Rays team that had beaten them eight out of ten times. And then game two. That's when everything stopped, when the wheels kind of fell off. They lost game two. They lost game three. But showing the resiliency they've shown all year they won game four and they set up this classic what a game for baseball but an awful awful game for the new york yankees this will stay with them for a while they'll go over every single move every batter will go over every at bat every pitcher will go over every pitch it's happening too frequently the yankees are just this close over and over and over again and when they made the investment with garrett cole they thought that that was the final piece of the puzzle to finally get them back to their rightful place in the fall classic unfortunately in this terrible year of 2020 it didn't happen the yankees have a lot to be proud of but they also have a lot to work on